today I will be showing you how to create a very simple web browser in Microsoft Visual C++. A web browser is something, for example, it's like Internet Explorer or Firefox. This is a very simple one, but this is how you can create it in Microsoft Visual C++. So let's get started. Click on File and New Project. Then select the Windows Forms application button. It may look different on your screen, just make sure you select Windows Forms application. Then enter the project name. You can enter anything you want here. Then press OK to continue, and it will load up your project. Once loaded, it will look like this. You'll see a small window. You want to make this a little bit larger because we will need to fit the web browser contents in this window. So, click on the right bottom of the small window and drag it out to about this size. And then you want to find the web browser control on your left or anywhere you have the toolbox. It looks like this. Drag it onto your form. After you drag it, you should see nothing here. It should look about the same. But it's actually over here. You gotta click on the white arrow and say undock. Then you'll see a square. Bring the square to about right here and leave a little bit space at the top of the window. Then fill the rest of the window with the web browser. This space will be reserved for our back button, the URL bar, and the go button. We will add those now. So find the button control on the left in your toolbox and drag it and drop the button. Take another button and drop it right next to it. This button will be the back button. This button will be the forward button. Then find the text box. It should look like this and drop it right next to the forward button. This will be our URL bar. You want to make it a little larger, like a real browser, to about this size. Then, take the button again and drop another one right next to the URL bar. This will be our Go button. Click on button 1 and right click. Click Properties. Then go to the value label text and change it to Back. Then press Enter. Then close the property window. Do the same with button 2. Find the value label text, except this time type in forward. Then press enter. Then close the property window again. Do the same with button 3. Right click and properties. Find the value label text and change it to go. Then press enter. Then you can close the property window once again. Then you want to click on the title bar at the top of the window, which is labeled form 1, and then find some empty space in that window, the small one. Some empty space would be above the button, so right here. Then right click and click properties. This will bring you to the property of the form, the entire window. You want to change the title bar text to this. Then press enter and you should see this. Then close the property window. Now that we have the design of the window created, we need to add the backbone of the program, which is the programming code. This will allow the program to function with the back, forward, and go buttons. So we want to double click on the back button. And it will take you to the design window. You need a if your if your program brings you to the an, a line that already has text on it, click Enter to get a new and fresh line. Once you're on a new line, you wanna type in the following: this dash greater than sign web browser one, and it should come up in the drop menu. Then dash greater than sign. Go back. Then add 
open parentheses and close parentheses, and then end it with a semicolon. You're, this is the code that will make the web browser move back. Now go back to the design window and click the button forward. Double click it. Once again, it will bring you to the program window. Press enter to get to a new line if you're not ready. Then do the same. This dash greater than web browser one dash greater than go forward. Instead, this time we'll do go forward instead of go back. Then we add the open parentheses, the close parentheses, and end with the semicolon. This is the code that will make the browser move forward. Then we go back to the design window and double click on the go button. Now we type in this dash greater than web browser one dash greater than navigate and then we do open parentheses. Now when we do the navigate function, it will navigate to the page that's in to the string or URL that we put inside the parentheses. So we want to put the value of the text box inside the parentheses so it can go to that URL. This dash greater than text box one dash greater than text. And so we we'll return the text from the text box and put it inside these two parentheses. Then we end with a semicolon. Now we have all the code written for this program. We gotta go back to the design. Now we have to do one last thing. Right click on the web browser and go to properties. Find the script error suppressed value and change it to true. Then close the properties window. You are now ready to run your simple web browser. Start by clicking the green arrow. It will be in the compile your project. If you see a window like this, click yes. You can see the compiling results here. Once your program is ran, you can see this. You can now load up a web page. Type in HTTP www.google.com and it should load up Google when you press the go button. And there we go. We have Google loaded on our very simple web browser. Now we'll go to yahoo.com. simple web browser in Visual C++.